next day. First fish, and the kid done, done missed a big one. Cut him halfway in. But uh, welcome back to AWF Outdoors with Nakia Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Showing, like you said, it's showing full of fish in there. Sometimes they just won't bite. But we're gonna pull out here and look at this other spot. We got some more spots right here marked. Go look at them right quick. I would show you the depth finder right now, but uh, got too much detail on my contours here to be making this public. Okay, we're about to run over one right here. The other one is right in front of us, straight ahead. So, uh, anyway. Are you looking at the grass? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, there's fish on it. At 10 them. foot. I don't see them on there. Yeah. You see up there at the top right there, there's a couple up there too. Good. Keeper. Searching for crappie. A lot of people uh, don't realize how much time I spend out here looking for these crappie. Just to make a decent video anyway. But I've got uh, several trips recorded on my phone right now. That just uh, wasn't a day that we caught a lot of crappie. You're gonna have to get that camera ready. Oh, I'm sitting here videoing, buddy. I know that was a three pound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he was lying. You didn't he run all the way. People may want to know, you know, how do you how do you find these fish? I try to make it a habit to try to find something new every trip out if I can, you know, by using the depth finders and doing a lot of idling and looking at everything. So, you know, even if it's a piece of brush or something that don't have fish on it, you know, I'll keep that in mind and I'll go back and check it later because usually the, any brush will have fish at, at certain periods of the year. So, so that's how we find them. Uh, just always keep an open mind and always search for new stuff. And, uh, you know, as I sit here and think about leaving out to go look for a fish today, um, I know of different structures that we've already fished on or know of, and I'll just go by and check them. And we're probably gonna be looking at structures that's uh, probably in the 15, 20 foot range on depth. And, uh, that's what we're fishing. So let's go see what we can do. Waiting on my buddy to get back down here. Some pretty green water out here. So we're just looking around. We're gonna see if there's something right here. You can tell, looks like maybe fish down in it or something. Lots of little bright spots in there. That's the best image I ever seen of that tree. I'll look at one more right here. One big fish, huh? Now there's fish in that one. There's fish in that one. Get up here and guide us, guide. The man said there's fish in that. Yes, sir. 
eight to ten feet and deeper. You want to explain to the to the audience here what we're doing? We fix and go over here and cast on these crappie, Adrian. Just drove across, stacked up like cordwood. Biggins. Got one. It is, you better get the net. Well, it is. Some big crappie in there. Yeah, I don't think this is crappie. That's a crappie. If it was a bass, he'd be running. Let me get the net just in case. Yeah, whatever it is. Now, that's the biggest spot. Is it a spot? That's a good spot on it. Gotta keep him from getting any traction. Well, I like eating spots too, so throw them in that live well. Yeah. About the right size for eating. About 13 inch. Yeah, he's about 13. I guess I'm just running the video camera today. Oh yeah, get it in. Here, you come here. I hope I don't knock my phone off. Good one? Well, I think it's big, whatever it is. Yeah, that's a big crop. Here, let me grab it. Let me grab it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> that's what I see on that tree. He's a good crappie guy. Yes, sir. He just won't open the live well, will he? He won't open the live well and won't walk the ramp either. And he had that. He uses his seniority on that ramp trip. Load my cover. Do without your hat when you got a head like this. Got to have your hat. And hat done got blowed off. Got to have it. Thank you, sir. Give you a clue. It's got a green buoy and a green house. Fishing it. And we're gonna fish up there between them. Come through them. All right. Well, let's that see if we can catch them. Right out in here. All right. Master guide. Master guide. Oh, you filming it? Yes, sir. I'm filming it. How's people gonna know where to fish if we don't tell them? How are people gonna know how to fish if we don't tell them where they're at? You got it. What's that? Might not be a crappie. Yeah, it is. Big old black mouth trap. Come on, Daddy. Okay, that's enough bragging. Put it in the live well. 
Is this a, that's a black one, isn't it? Yeah, that's why it's in vertical lines. Well, one of them had break up lines on it, didn't it? I don't think so. What the hell them two? Mm -hmm. What video them two? Pickle. Trash fish. Never thought I'd say that. What? The trash fish. <laughs> He had done throw the bass rods away. Throw the bass back. Throw the bass back, throw the bass rods away. Don't even want a bass. Don't even want one to bite. Well, there ain't a bass rod. Ain't a, ain't a bass lure in here. Pitiful. Pitiful. You've done this to me. I told you. I tried to tell you before you got started, but you wanted to go learn to crappie fish. Never sat under a barge before, have y'all? Man, we do a lot of riding and try to find something new every trip. Unless, unless we're just on a spot, just wearing out crappie. We're gonna stop and look at different things and slow down, look at the depth finder and hopefully find some structure that we've never seen before. And even though there may not be no crappie on it, we'll mark it on our depth finder and come back and look at it later. So, uh, I guess if there was a tip today, that would be it. Sorry about the sun. But anyway, you gotta always look for another spot. Just, uh, just a continuous search. Today was a very slow day. I caught a couple of fish so far. We see fish, they're just not biting. Think about putting together a minnow fishing video. I started minnow fishing for crappie when I was uh, probably five years old or less. And then after my dad passed, I uh, got introduced to jigs and I've been fishing jigs for 25, 30 years now. So. But I guess I'm gonna have to go back to some minnows. Been watching a couple guys on YouTube. Um, he had cropped him. I just watched one of your videos the other day where you carried some minnows with you and, and uh, apparently did a really good job catching the crappie on them. So uh, we may have to throw some minnows in the boat. But I appreciate y'all watching. Me and the kid too. He appreciates you. <laughs> so, uh, just the way it is. Stick around, we'll catch some fish one day. Make you a new video. So, uh, thank you for sticking around and subscribing to the channel. And just trying to keep it real. This is real as it gets, buddy, when that live well's empty. So, no matter how long you've been crappie fishing, I know there's nobody that can go out there and just have a stellar day every day. So, uh, see you next time.